Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to convert percentages to decimals and decimals to percentages. All right, so let's see what we've got. Well, what we've got is we've got one whole box of assorted cookies. Okay, and they're 100 in number. Now, some of the cookies are round and the rest and the rest, they're square. And what else we know is that the round cookies are 40% of the whole box of cookies and the square cookies are 0.6 of the whole box of cookies. Now note that these two numbers are expressed in two different ways, okay? The first number over here is 40%, okay? And this we have to convert in decimal. Now what this tells you is that if the whole box of cookies has a value of 100%, then out of that, 40% is round cookies. And what the second number tells you is that if the whole box of cookies has a value of one, then out of that, the square cookies have a value of 0.6. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to convert 40% to its equivalent in decimal. Let's see how to do that. So what I'm going to do first of all is make a model diagram that represents the box of cookies. Okay, when you see it visually, you understand it better. So let's make a visual, let's make a model. All right, so this is one whole box of cookies. And uh, what do we have first of all is that the round cookies are 40% of the box, okay? So if this is your 0%, which means the box is empty, and this is your 100%, which means the box is full, then somewhere over here lies your 40%, okay? I'm going to make a percent line. It's the same as your number line, except that the line runs from 0% to 100%. So somewhere over here is your 40%. And if I extend it down to the model diagram and fill in some color into it, say brown, then this guy is your round cookies. Okay, and the rest are non-round cookies, which is their square cookies, and that's the yellow paint. Okay, this yellow block is your square cookies. All right, now what do we have to do? Well, we have to convert this 40% into its equivalent in decimal, okay? Now, I mentioned to you in a previous lesson that percentages, fractions, and decimals, are they, they're all related to each other. But how to convert one from the other? Well, in a previous lesson, if you watched that video already, then you know how to convert a percentage to a fraction. So to find out the equivalent of percentage and decimal, what we're going to do is we're going to first convert this percentage to fraction and see if uh, there's a way to convert it to a decimal. Okay, now let's see. Let's uh, take this 40% and see how to express this in uh, as, as a fraction. So we have 40%, okay? Now, what is 40%? What do you think is 40% equal to in fractions? Well, 40% means 40 out of 100. A percent means out of 100, right? And if it's 40%, it means 40 out of 100. So 40% is equal to this fraction, 40 upon 100. Now think of fraction as a division because fraction is nothing but division, right? So 40 upon 100, the fraction 40 upon 100 is actually nothing but it's equal to 40 divided by 100, right? That's what it is. The numerator 40 divided by the denominator, which is 100. So 40 upon 100 is actually equal to 40 divided by 100. Now, if you simplify this, if you calculate this, you will know that 40 divided by 100 is actually equal to 0 0.40. And if you want to omit this one, this zero, you can strike it out. And all this is equal to is it's equal to 0 0.4. So 40% is nothing but 0 0.4, and this 0 0.4 is actually the decimal for 40%. So 40% is actually equal to 0 0.4 in decimal. What this means is that if I were to draw a decimal number line over here, okay, if I were to draw a decimal number line over here, then my starting point would be 0 or 0, 0.0 if you like, and the last point would be 1.0. So what this means is that 0.0, .0 is an empty box and 1.0 is a full box, is a whole box. Now what this means is that if I express the value of the box as 1, then out of that 1, 0 0.4 is how much 
is the value of round cookies, which means that the round cookies occupy 0.4 of the box. So if the value of the box is expressed as a percentage, which means 100% means full, then the value of round cookies is 40%. But if the value of the box is expressed as a decimal number, which means one is full, one is equal to whole box or full box, then 0.4 is round cookies. So all you have to do to convert from a percentage to decimal is to divide it by 100. That's the simplest thing to do. All you do is you take 40 and you divide it by 100 and you get the decimal for the percentage. All right, but let's check if we got the rule really right, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is we know that one whole box of cookies has got 100 cookies. So this one whole box is actually equal to 100 cookies. Now let's find out what 40% of that is equal to, okay? So 40% of the whole box of cookies or 40% of 100 cookies. But what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to 40 out of 100 of 100 cookies. So 40 out of 100 of 100 cookies. If you strike out the 100 and the 100 here and there, what you get is you get 40 cookies. So your 40% is actually equal to 40 cookies. This is equal to 40 cookies, this brown block. So that was uh, when you use the 40%. Now, how about if you use 0.4 instead? Let's use 0.4 and try to see if we get the same answer, the same answer as 40 cookies. So let's find out what 0.4 of the whole box of cookies is equal to. So what do you want to find out is 0.4 of the whole box, which means 0.4 of 100 cookies. Okay, 0.4 of 100 cookies is equal to 0.4 times 100 cookies. Now, 0 0.4 times 100 is actually equal to 40. So, yeah, you do get the same answer, 40 cookies here and 40 cookies here as well. So, this is really equal to 40 cookies. And this means that the decimal equivalent of 40% is 0 0.4. So, all you do to convert from percentage to decimal is divide it by 100. Now, how about the opposite? What do you do if you have to convert from decimal to percentage then what do you do well, let's see how to find that out so let me get me a new slate let's draw the model one more time and what we have is one box of cookies all right now this time i'm going to make a decimal line decimal number line so my decimal number line will run from 0.0, .0 to 1 or 1.0 Okay, and what I'm interested in finding out is what is the percentage equivalent of 0 0.6. Now, 0 0.6 is somewhere over here, right? This is 0 0.6. And from here to here is my square cookies. Okay, so this is my yellow square cookies. And the rest of them, the rest of them are round cookies. So these are all cookies. All right, so we have 0 0.6 and we want to convert it to a percentage. Now, what is 0 0.6 equal to? Well, 0 0.6 is actually 6 divided by 10. And 6 divided by 10 as a fraction is the same as writing 6 upon 10. Now, how can you convert 6 upon 10 to a percentage? All you have to do is you have to make the denominator as 100 because when you have the denominator as 100, you know it's automatically a percentage. So all you have to do is think of equivalent fraction. Now, how do you get 100 from 10? Well, you simply multiply it by 10. So you multiply also the numerator by 10 and what you get is 6 times 10, which is 60. And when you see a fraction like 60 upon 100, okay, a fraction in which the denominator is 100, you know that it's percentage. So this is 60%. So 0 0.6 is actually equal to 60%. So on the percentage line here, what this is telling you is that if the whole box of cookies has a value of 100%, okay, the whole box of cookies is a value of 100%, then the square cookies will have a value of 60%. Okay, so if the whole box is equal to 100%, then the square cookies is equal to 60%. Like same way over here, if the whole box has a value of 1, then the square cookies have a value of 0 0.6, which is the same as 60%. So what's the shortcut of getting 60% from 0 0.6? Well, all you do to convert decimal to percentage is to multiply it by 100. Multiply 0 0.6 by 100, 
you will get 60. So that's a shortcut way. Now, let's see if we got the rule right. Okay. So what we found so far is that 0 0.6 in percentage is equal to 60%. But let's see if we got the rule right or not. Okay. So let's uh, use our number of cookies once more. So we know that one whole box has got 100 cookies. Okay. Now let's try to find out what 0.6 of the box is equal to. As in how many cookies is that equal to? So 0 0.6 of 100 cookies. Okay, 0 0.6 of 100 cookies is how many cookies? It's actually equal to 60 cookies. So this yellow box is equal to 60 cookies using 0.6. But how about if we use 60%? Do we still get 60 cookies? Let's see. 60% of 100 cookies. How much is that? Or how many is that? Well, 60% means 60 upon 100 of 100 cookies. That's equal to, if we cancel out the 100 and the 100 here, that's actually equal to 60 cookies. So yeah, this indeed is the same answer, 60 cookies. So yes, we got the rule right, which is to convert from decimal to percentage, all you do is you multiply it by 100. So there you go, 40% we saw in the previous slide is equal to 0 0.4 in decimal. So to convert from percentage to decimal, you divide by 100, whereas to convert from decimal to percentage, you multiply by 100. So that's a simple rule. And that's really all that there is to converting percentages to decimals and decimals to percentages. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that now you'll go and do some practice because practice makes perfect. So as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg for practice problems and also to see how good you're getting at math. This is M. Signing off for now. Bye-bye.